All right, come. Okay, Khan. All right, Shalom. So we're going to go ahead and kick this off. Start this off, give an honor, praise, and glory to every father, name and son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Wa'akwa, Dashwaka, Wadi Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Holy Spirit, which has given us utterance once more. So another lesson, another life plan, another counsel, all of this coming to be edifying, you know, being another, uh, another effort to exhort, strengthen, aka strengthen, you know, comfort, uh, edify. AKA uh, also admonish, aka strip, uh, warn, salak, so warn the flocks, the sheep, the lamb, you know, you believers of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, and all uh, faith and sincerity, you know, double honors to all the hopefully elect, elders slated out here, out, out here slated to be saved. And uh, that's chiefly starting with those at the, the church of Great Millstone, Great Millstone Church. And, um, Peace and blessings to you, brothers, teach, teaching the truth as well, and all truth and sincerity, and much peace and blessings to you believers out here, you women and women, the children of the Israelite race. All right? Tell them on to the elected one third. All right? So, yeah, jumping into this, man. <clears throat> Tonight's live class, live council, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be, uh, you know, Salakia. It's, it's dealing with pretty much Jake, you know, Acting like they have no, it's just the times we in, really. It's the times we in and how Jake is moving according to the times we in, you know, which is the devil coming down with draconian uh, legislation. Like, they don't have nobody, like, they have to answer to this man. Like, he he the most hot, you know what I'm saying? That's literally how Jake is moving. We probably going to bring some articles out uh, and whatnot. But, yeah, man, it's all type of stuff that's just happening right now. To where Jake is literally is it, it, it the time the times we in now. Matter of fact, let's go there real quick. Um, I want to say uh, sorry, eighteen and twenty-four. But the times we in now, man, is 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 is, is pretty much. Is 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 coming down to how can I word this, man? Like the so-called white man just making it all about him, you know what I'm saying? In his way, that's basically what everything coming down to. And now you subject to that, you know. Uh, and 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 it's so ironic because it's the same man that puts freedom. You see what I'm saying? It's 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 it, it, it's 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 crazy. You know, these are the times we in, man, that, that was spoke upon. You know, we told you people, man, it was going to be police state. You know, start the elders and apostles on down. They've been telling you about, uh, uh, you know, the draconian legislation, man. You know, all of y'all know history repeats itself. And a lot of y'all finna do the same thing y'all actually did in the past because history repeats itself. That's what you what you're seeing. And why do I mention that? Because uh, draconian legislation is from Rome, you know, which is a severe laws, man, you know? And overstepping people boundaries. And, 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 and Jake is about to just lay down and, and just go for that after all these years, you know? That's why I say that, who gonna rouse dude up, man? Because these dudes is just, it, it's just crazy, man. You know, it, it's so many scriptures coming in line. Go ahead, bro. Man. This is on Sirach chapter 18 and verse 24. Think upon the wrath that shall be at the end. Actually started, uh, let me see. 
we can start at uh, Wise Man Fearing Everything. 27. Okay, okay. This is Sirach chapter 18 and verse 27. A wise man will fear in everything. And how many things? In everything. Yep. And, and in the day of sinning, mm -hmm. he will beware of offense. What email can I send this article to? I got an article. Uh, uh, you said what? You got it again. Kai Kai. It says, in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense. But a fool will not observe time. Yeah. And the times we in is what? The end of all things. The end, you know, the end of the so-called white man putting his foot, you know, up your tail, man. That was the times we in, man. You see what I'm saying? Did you finish that? Yep. If you can jump to first Peter 4 or 7. Okay. No, sir. Okay, okay. First Peter chapter four and verse seven. It says, but the end of all things. It means the so-called white man ruling over you, man. You being you having to answer to this dude every day. They didn't show you that in the in the in the uh in the form of the government shutting down and you not having to go to so-called work anymore. You see what I'm saying? You think everything they doing is just by design, exactly. their design. No. A lot of stuff they trying to do. Is, is 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 being offset by the heavenly father the everything they doing is being is designed by the heavenly father mm -hmm. a lot of they, they had one plan and it looked like they they controlling it but the whole time is is pretty much uh damage control a lot of stuff happening right now is damage, damage control, control that's really a lot of this shit going on damage control so it's like they don't want to extend the more but they got to why Cause they not willing for them to put a, put a, uh, you know, the pushback that they'll get if they didn't. You got so many things that can happen for people being on the streets. One, selling these stuff. You know, the ending of uh, the companies and businesses and all that. You just hold that. The ending of companies and businesses and all that. You know. But nonetheless, uh, um, whole point, did you, did you see in the end of the so-called white man having uh, jurisdiction over your life, man? You know, it's clear. You see? Matter of fact, you can jump back to that Syrac, Bible Shah, 18 and 27. Yep, Syrac chapter 18 and verse 27. A wise man will fear in everything. And in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense. But a fool will not observe time. You see, you're supposed to only a foolish people won't be only foolish people won't be observing these times, man. That this man losing it, man. The Lord already said this man, uh 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 he one he got bounds. Let's go there real quick. Job 14 and 5. Then we can uh also hold Deuteronomy 32 and uh 35. Okay. I was gonna learn the hard way though, man. Do the army thirty two, so like it. Yeah, and and, and uh and uh thirty five. Got it, got it. The other one first. Yeah, man. Job chapter thirteen. Fourteen. So like it. Fourteen five. I'm there. You got it. This is Job chapter 14 and verse 5. Come on. It says, seeing his days are determined. Whose days? His days. See? Who's the his? The so-called white man. The one that literally, you know, making your life a living hell. You got to wake up thinking like, you, you you go to sleep and knowing you you subject to what this man, you know, got to say. Some pale, pasty bastard, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Kind. Seeing his days are determined. But the Lord said his days is determined. The earth has been given into his hand for a duration, man. You've been turned over to him uh, 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 for a duration. If you can go there real quick, go to uh, an, an apocryphal, uh, Baruch, uh, Baruch in the third in the third chapter. 
you know, because it's all here. It's all here, you know. It was, you know, we was giving it to this man's hand for, for duration. Everything was given to his, his, his man's hand, you know. But it, it but it's for uh, a duration, uh, it was for a set duration of time. Give me uh, four and six, Bob Shot. Okay. This is Baruch chapter four and verse six. Uh -huh. It says, "Ye were sold to the nations." Mm -hmm. Not for See, you were sold, man. Yeah, we got sold in the slavery. Come on. It says not for your destruction, mm -hmm. but because he moved the heavenly father to wrath. And the Lord even give us the reasoning. They tell us in school slaves, but not give us the reasons. Exactly. You finish the verse? A little bit more. Go ahead. It says, um, because you moved God to wrath. It says, yeah, ye were delivered unto the enemies. Yeah, see, who's the enemies? So-called white man. You see, keep going. Verse 7, it says, for ye provoked him that more, made more, you. More, more response, more reasoning, more answers to why. Come on. For ye provoked him. By what? Watch this now. Now, this is the whole lesson right here. You know, we probably come back here too, but go ahead. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. And not to God. Who the fuck the devil, man? You see that? Who the damn devil? Drop that. As a matter of fact, hold that Bible shot. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh give me give me uh uh give me uh revelation, Bible shot. Let's get revelation. Revelation 12 and uh eight. And then we're gonna go to the second chapter. You know, to make this clear, our people since since are you doing the same thing now? Jake doing the same thing now. This is why we were sold because you want to sacrifice to the damn devil, man. Who the damn devil? Go ahead. Revelation chapter twelve and verse eight, and prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Uh huh. And the great dragon uh -huh. was cast out. Uh -huh. That old serpent called the devil see? and Satan, uh -huh. which see, deceived called, who did what? Yeah, that old serpent called the devil. Yeah, he's called, who's called the devil? The so-called white man. You see that? What color they paint the, the damn devil, man? They paint the damn devil red, man. Mm -hmm. You see, it's the scripture say you know I'm about to look, man. Who red? He saw the so-called white man. The damn devil, man. Yep. That old serpent called the devil yep. and Satan, uh -huh. which deceived the whole world. See, that's why he the devil. The devil goes into dece deceiving. He's deceiving you now, making you think he you you got to answer to him. He got he gonna rule forever, and that's it. This in my way and no way. That's the dang lie, man. You finish that a little bit more. Go ahead. Okay. It says, which deceived the whole world. Mm -hmm. He was cast out into the earth. Yep, and his. And he deceived the whole world, the world being Israel, chiefly, right? That's the main world the scripture's concerned with, the world of Israel, right? Now, we do got the world of Esau ro rolling right now, but the, the main world that you want to have your eye on is the world of Jake, the world of uh, Israel, because that's the world that the kingdom of heaven, you see what I'm saying, uh, uh, will be in, you know? But nonetheless, he deceived the whole world, meaning even us. He had us thinking this was it. Oh. America was, this is it. You might as well just, if you ain't rich by 30, you just, you might as well just, you know, just get with the program type shit, you know? Like literally, say, like, yeah, yeah, he deceived the whole world, man. But see, the spirit came down, right? Because he's not in control. By design, the spirit came down and, 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 it, and it would arise. It, it, it will cause those particular men of this nation to arise upon their feet, man, come back to life, AKA reality, man. Zoe, true life, you go into that Greek word. And we will see, wait a minute, this ain't life. This ain't even, ain't no way this dude, you know? Ain't no way you really grew up, you know? The scripture say we rather obey God than men. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Who the hell is who is this nigga, man? That's the thoughts you ain't got now, cause the spirit in you. You if you ain't thinking like that, you ain't got the spirit. Let me read this. Isaiah fifty one and twelve. I I man, real quick. Did you did you finish that? This is more 
says he cast out to earth and his angels were cast out with him. All good. You can drop that. Mm -hmm. uh, Bible uh, go to um, go to a uh, Bible shop. Uh, St. John 16, I want to say, in the 16th chapter. Yeah, St. John 16. And uh, you can start at 7, right? Okay. This is uh, Isaiah 51 and 12. I, even I, am he that comforted you. Now, how will the Lord comfort you? You see what I'm saying? It says, who art thou that thou should be, uh, should be afraid of a man that shall die? And of the, the son of man which shall be made as grass. You see what I'm saying? Grass get mowed down, man. When it get, what, too hot. Exactly. See that? You can bring that up. Yep. John chapter 16 and verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Yeah, it's nevertheless, man. <clears throat> no matter what's going on, nevertheless. Let's let's go, let's deal with what that what that nevertheless is, man. What's nevertheless? Let's deal with that. Come on. I tell you the truth. The truth. No, no matter no matter how much on the book on the bookshelf it, it, it has been putting, it's been hidden. You see what I'm saying? It's been whitewashed. Yep. Nevertheless, though, okay. it's still the truth, regardless of what's going on. Come on. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Uh -huh. It is it is expedient mm -hmm. for you that I go away. Mm -hmm. For if I go not away, yeah, our Savior, our King, come on, big brother, really our Father, if you will, in the Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says the Comforter will not come unto you. Mm -hmm. Who the who? The Comforter. Go ahead. But if I but if I depart, mm -hmm. I will send him unto you. Okay, now let's hear. It. So the, 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 the comforter is, 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 keep going, let's hear what it is. Well, okay, verse 8, and when he is come, mm -hmm. he will reprove the world so of this, sin. So this is the identifying factor uh, uh, to look for, you know, the traits of the comforter. He said, what? When he is come, he will reprove the world. He will disapprove of this world. And, and that's all you, so right now you're seeing the comfort. We telling you to heal these damn de right dad, these hooks and all this madness, man. You know, it ain't with that shit, man. It ain't with no so-called white man ruling. You know what I'm saying? It ain't with God having, you know, being a so-called white man. You know, it ain't with LGBT. You know, QP. It ain't with America, man. You know, it's not with none of that. It's a lot over. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you got it. Okay. Verse 8, it says, and when he is come, uh -huh. he will reprove the world of sin uh -huh. and of righteousness yep. and of judgment. Yep. <laughs> See that? Come on. Is it what's going on right now, man? Come on. This is the comforter right now. So now we know we got the comforter. Come on. Shout out brother. Of sin because uh -huh. they believe not on me. Yep. I'm oh. saying because they believe not on me. Go ahead. Of righteousness, uh -huh. because I go to my father uh -huh. and you see me no more. Uh -huh. Now watch this. Come on. Of judgment, mm -hmm. because the prince of this world mm. is judged. Mm. Come on. Come. On. Verse twelve. It says, "I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now." Yeah, I want to let you in on so much, but you know, there's a time and a season. Mm -hmm. Right now, you got to deal with this. The evil, uh, the evil of today is sufficient for us. Come on. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come? The spirit of what? The spirit of truth. That's the comforter. So once the truth is here, man, who you truly are, what's truly going on, what's truly about to happen to the so-called white man, if he's truly in power or not, why he's truly doing what he's doing. Go ahead. All right. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth mm. for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear you mean know, understand that shall he speak mm -hmm. and he will show you things to come mm. see so this spirit the comfort is dealing with uh uh, uh the revealing of the, the steps of the hidden things that's to tell us in uh, uh the book of Sirach. you know what i'm saying so let's jump back to uh baba kasha what was we what you holding Behold, I was looking at the revelation. Yeah, too. Because we're going into the devil. All right. So 
this is a, 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 a let me read this one more time. So, so Isaiah 51 and 12, I even I am he that comforted you. See, do what? Giving you the truth, man. Regardless of what's going on. This is this is the, like no matter how much the so-called white man try to put propaganda out here, we're comforted and it it seemed believable. He seemed like he got so much control. Well, what will comfort you during these times is the truth that the so-called uh, that he hated, man. That everything he doing is wrong, and no matter how right he may present it to be, you know, or, or it may look by the, you know, and be perceived to be by the masses, you know, is 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 uh. uh Still not what to do, you know. Clearly, you know, and that's just comforting. Regardless of how much you put this message out here, you're com you, it's, it's still not the truth because of the scriptures. Because God says so, and that's comforting, man. You see what I'm saying? And look, this is the one thing He won't deal out of, though. Right. He don't want to deal out of this. He'll deal out of he. He don't even want to deal out of anything. He don't even want to deal out of his own textbooks tomorrow. That's why he changed the notes. He don't want. He want to take the fact that you were slaves out of them textbooks. He want to change all the logos to these baseball teams, these food companies, because they was all uh, 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 proven that we was the, the cursed people. Because they all mockeries of so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians from Aunt uh, uh, uh Jemima, which is an Israelite. That's one of Joe Joe's daughter name was uh, Jemaniah, man, or Jemima. Um, the Atlanta of uh, Indians, or there's so yeah, many damn yeah. Indian teams. Yeah. So like it. Exactly. Cleveland Indians. Cleveland Indians. Washington. Or Redskins, mm -hmm. Chicago Blackhawks. They change, trying to change all those names, get them out, completely out of it, you know? And then they want to keep use of the so called, you know, uh, the tribe of Issachar out of America, which they've been doing, they've been working on that for, forever. So they want to build the wall. You see what I'm saying? But I thought this was the land of the free home of the brave. You know, everybody could come here. I thought they was pushing immigrants, yeah, exactly. you know, in movies to come here come in, yeah. on boats. But for some reason, so-called Mexicans can't come in here. It shit don't make sense, you know? But now that the spirit of truth has come, the comforter, uh, uh, the spirit of truth, now we comfort it because we know. You see what I'm saying? Why? You know? You saw how comfort it is to hear this, read this, and see it's completely anti this world. It is, and obviously, uh, this world will obviously be anti this. Right. And it will be clear because the so-called white man does not deal out of this. He uses it as a cloak and he swear on it, but he don't deal out of it, man. He won't open it and actually have it read, man. He won't do it. He can't do it. He won't do it away with the Old Testament, then get cut in the New Testament. You see what I'm saying? But that's a whole other thing. You got it, bro. No. Right. Um, it's like, I ain't finished. I, uh, Isaiah 51 and 12, I, even I am he that comforted you, who art thou? That thou shouldst be afraid of a man that shall die. You see, he gonna die. We just read it in Revelation the 12th chapter in the 8th verse. This place is gonna be cast out of heaven, man. Right. You know? It says, and of the son of man, which shall be made as grass. And who's that? That's the so-called white man. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Where it started. Yeah. Matter of fact, the scripture that uh I forgot what scripture took us Revelation 12 and 8. Uh, it was two. Was it 14 and 5? Because we because we because the scripture that brought up it brought up the devil. Spirit had brought up the devil. Oh, yeah. No, it was root, root four. Kind of kind of. Yep, it's root four. We'll try to, you know, get this thing back on the on, on, on road, man. This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. It says, ye were sold to the nations, mm -hmm. not for your destruction, mm -hmm. but because ye moved the heavenly father to wrath. See, they, now they're so confident to know, oh, they, that's why I have to come up. You it's were, a book that tell you exactly what happened to you so-called black Latinos and Native American Indians. Give you reasoning is everything, man. What's gonna happen? You know, it recalls what happened to you. You know, go ahead, man. Kind of says he were delivered unto the enemies. Mm -hmm. See, unto the who? Unto the enemies. Uh huh. It says, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. Unto who? Unto devils. See. 
and not unto the heavenly father. See? Now, who's the damn devil? Revelation 2 and 10. Okay. This yeah. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Uh -huh. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Uh -huh. Behold. Now, this is from so-called Christ. You have a shot. Come on. Behold. The devil shall cast some the who? The devil. See? The damn, he says he called him the damn devil. The so-called white man. man. He said the devil, the devil. He didn't say Satan. He just said the devil. You know? Call Satan. You know? This nigga the damn devil, man. Go ahead. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. And that's what happened. You seen that with uh uh the guy um if we can search that real quick. Um uh, uh, pull up uh, Lazar Hayward. We're gonna pull up a little article real quick, as so you can see it. <clears throat> yep, bring that one out. This dude comes straight up. He don't even play no more. All right, you pull the screen up. Check this out. Sure. No, not right now. No, 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 no. Let's click it. Yeah, you got it. You got a full screen. Hey, do it. Hey, do it. Let's take this out. You know? See that? Marquette Golden Eagles, former Marquette. See, they want to be funny. This nigga, this dude, this Jake, he was in the NBA. He played for the, the, the Oklahoma Thunder. He played with Westbrook, KD, all of them. It says he what? He, he the star Lazar Hayward arrested in Hawaii in connection with falsifying, you see, that thing documents. You see what I'm saying? He was arrested. You can read that one more time, brother, that scripture. Kind Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. See, there it is, man. The damn, de the damn devil, man. You know. Yeah, former NBA player. They gonna they talk about some damn Marquette. Come on, man. See. Or up, up, up. He was, he was, he was, uh, you know, on suspicion of uploading fake, you know, the you did 19 test results into the database that screens and tracks Hawaii arrivals amid the pandemic. See that? It says, according to Kauai police, Haywood, 34, and 33-year-old Raven Randall flew into Lahui Airport on a direct American Airlines flight from Los Angeles after uploading the falsified documents, the falsified documents in an attempt to sidestep quarantine. See? So the whole time. You know, and they got them on here looking like they, you know, they stole America, man. You know? It's a goddamn shame. You know, it says what? It says where they were booked and immediately put on a plane back to L.A. You know? You read that one more time, brother. God. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Yep. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yep. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Yep, that's it, man. Go ahead. It says that ye may be tried. Yeah, we can finish the verse. Kind. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Uh -huh. Be thou faithful unto death. Now, who the one got the authority to cast you in the prison? Whoever it is, that'd be the damn devil, man. You know, who set up the prison system of these times? We in Revelation. So that devil is the so-called white man. And he will be cast you in prison for things like this, man. You know? For not doing things you ain't got no business doing. <laughs> That's why, man. You know? You know? But you comforted 
that and, and, and Jake, that's all Jake's in at this day. You know, we uh, matter of fact, if you can go to you could drop that if you can go to um, Isaiah 55 and uh, 15. I want to say it might be 51 and 15. Yeah, 50, 55. You know? Goddamn double, man. No, it ain't 55. Try uh let's see. Uh 59 and 15. Okay. Yep, yeah. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15. Mm -hmm. It says, yeah, truth fellas. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> truth fell, man. Why? Because, uh, uh, you know, the damn devil, the deceiver is, is, is in charge, man. He's with lies. He's the, fa matter, he's the father of the lies. Matter of fact, give me John, Baba Kusha. John 8. St. John 8. He was starting uh 44. St. John chapter 8, Salaki, verse 44. It says, ye are of your father, the devil. <laughs> the devil, the devil, the devil. Go ahead. And the lust of your father, ye will do. Yep. What's his, what's his lust? Come on. He was a murderer from the beginning. So he's in the murder. Come on. And the bold, not in the truth. He don't deal with the truth. So those that don't deal with this truth, which is this word, this word is the truth, right? If you don't deal with this truth, this word, you of your father, the devil, man. And that's what a lot of Jakes is doing, man. They're not dealing with the truth. The truth is when you, let me grab the scripture real quick. You know, popularity, contrary belief, you know, contrary to popular belief, you are to do the opposite of popular belief. You see what I'm saying? This is Proverbs 1 and 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. You see what I'm saying? Period. The scriptures tell you what? Uh, uh, follow not the multitude, do evil, man. You know? So just because just everybody in the NBA doing this, everybody in the mass that your so-called job doing this, taking this, accepting that, you not to do it, man. You know? Let me grab that scripture real quick. Because, you know, you got people looking for answers right now. This is Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Now, why would the, why would the, see, this was so dumb. People tell you the Old Testament done away with but the Old Testament gives you proper conduct for successful outcome. Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You take the Old Testament faith, now you can do that. But guess what? Hamas Yach said, they now have come to destroy the law. Exactly. The Old Testament. Why would he do it, man? That's, that don't make no damn sense. In it is judgments, man. Laws. Decrees, ways to come to life to actually be successful. You know, beat situations. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. You see? So it ain't about you ain't supposed to be being politically correct. That's the scripture against that, man. You know, to hell being politically correct. And to hell means destruction. It's not a place. It's a condition played out on earth, man, in people's lives. You know? But anyway, they want to tell you that the Old Testament done away with. But so my point is what? You're not supposed to be a uh, 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 contrary to co popular belief. You, you're supposed to do, you're supposed to abide in the truth, man. You see what I'm saying? Regardless of what's going on, you know? But that's a lot of Jake's reasoning. For why they just go with the lie? Exactly. They just fold to the devil. We're gonna bring that out with this dude, uh, 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 Andrew Wiggins. 
talking about he was forced to get the damn vaccine, man, the vaccine. You weren't forced. Exactly. You know, you weren't forced. You know, force would have been them killing you then, you know, that's force. You know, you ain't, you want force, dog. You know, beautiful, you bring it up, you know. Good timing. I'll tell you what, you got it. God, this from the um, light of Israel. It says, enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of the of evil men. That's Proverbs chapter 4 and 14. Yeah, Proverbs 4 and 14, man. All right. So, yeah. So, it's, just, it's clear. This is the path of the, of the, of the wicked. Which they're going to be destroyed, man. You know? But a lot of J's be like, I folded because everybody was, well, we just read out, we bringing out none but counsel on how, regardless of that, that's not what's supposed to be the case. And that's comforting. Exactly. You know? Because they ain't got nothing to sort to reference them besides another wicked niggas uh, doing it. You know, they ain't got nothing to source them. What's your source on what you know on, on, on you know what makes what you did right? It should show you the so-called white man wicked because they denied Andrew Wiggins' so-called religious exemption. You know, because he ain't with the truth, man. Exactly. What's we read? He the damn devil. The truth of this word. The truth of this word. You see, this word is not a religion, man. This word is the truth, man. It's, it's, it's a history book, uh, 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 you know, a book of prophecies that belongs to the Hebrew Israelites, man, which are the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That nigga the goddamn devil. You got it, brother. You bring that out. Okay. It's St. John chapter 8 and verse 44. Ye are of your father, mm -hmm. the devil, mm -hmm. and the lust of your father ye will do. Come on. So, yeah. So, if you truly of your father, the devil, so if you know... He's all really embedded in you and et cetera, you know, uh, uh, what's going to happen. You going to, you going to, you going to, you going to fold because of that. You're going to do what he do. Go ahead. Okay. It says he was a murderer from the beginning. Yep. That's the, some of his lust. Come on. And the bold, not in the truth. Uh-huh. And he doesn't abide in the truth, man. So a lot of these jakes, they just don't abide in the truth. Which is going into the lesson. Let's go ahead and get rolling. You got it. Kind of says because there is no truth in him. Mm -hmm. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. That's just who he is. That's his cloth. That's what he cut from, man. It tell you that the wicked go astray as soon as they be born, speak a lie, man. Go ahead. For he is a liar. See? And Period. the father of it. He's the father of lies, man. <laughs> this nigga is the father of lies. Lying to you, telling you if you get the thing. You straight, but now this nigga that came out and said you still can contract it. it. And this nigga is in there. You can catch it in your eyes, but you gotta wear a mask. You know what I'm saying? This nigga just a damn liar, man. Is is running rapid amongst the so-called black and brown community. This nigga always been a liar, man. And those that succumb to this man ways, like he the most high. You a damn liar, man. You are the fa your father, the devil, man. And I'm the only ones that's going to, people that's going to come to it. These wicked ass, weak jakes, man. You know, you got these ones that's trying to fight they hardest to like not fold. You know what I'm saying? But the only way you can, you, you'll be able to withstand a Matter of fact, if you could drop that, go to Ephesians 6 and 12. Yeah, kind. You know? 2 Timothy 2 and 16, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more un more ungodliness. Here it is. You can't basically don't even entertain these people, man. You know? You got it. Con. Mm -hmm. It's Ecclesiastes, so like Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. But that's what these Jakes going to do because they wicked. They say a man will cleave it unto his light. A lot of these mothers just like, you know? But when we know it, we know it to be true because... Yeah, it's a bunch of people that turned on our Lord. You see what I'm saying? Back in, in, in the past. And picked, ultimately, picked Esau over the Heavenly Father. Like the which is what got us sold to in the fucking slavery, man. He we just read it. He said, because you sacrificed unto the devil, man, and not unto God. You know, 
you paid attention and stole what the devil said. That's why I say, if a brother can post brother, brother if a brother can post that scripture, uh, the scripture that say, um, uh, pretty much when a rich man speak it, they stole it to the crowds. You see what I'm saying? Because how does the Moha speak? He speak. He's always been speaking through his men. And, and then it tell you, you know, how they treat that, how they treated the Lord when he will speak. It tell you that scripture, you know, we get that real quick. Just to hit, make this quick, quick point. Where you at? Ephesians 6. 6 and 12. Uh, uh, 11. Okay. Yeah, whoever got it. Wow, oh, so. Yeah, come on. The water, brother. The water. That's it. This is Iraq 13 and 23. It says, when a rich man speak it, who's the rich man? If you can hold that, jump to James uh, James 2, 2 and 8. Okay. And, uh, on Friday 6. Go ahead. This is James chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, but ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you. Who? Do not rich men uh, oppress you. Do what? Do not rich men oppress you. Do what? They oppress you. You see what I'm saying? Who's the oppressor? Master. That's what master means. You see what I'm saying? That's the so And who is that? So-called white man. So that's the rich man. So when a rich man speak it, Right, Iraq 13 and 23, that's the so-called white man. So when the white so-called white man speaks, you know what I'm saying? Caesar, right? Every man holds his tongue. And look what he said. They stole it to the clouds. See that? Give me, if you can go to Isaiah 14 and um, um you can start at 10. Precept. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 10. All they shall speak and say unto thee. Matter of fact, jump to uh you start at 13. Okay. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 13. Uh -huh. For thou hast said in thine heart, uh -huh. I will ascend into heaven. Yep. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. See above. Come on. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Come on. In the sides of the north. Come on. I will sit like uh, I will. It's in above heights of the clouds. Above the house of the what? The heights of the clouds. Who will? I will. Go ahead. I will be like the most high. You see, he said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, man. Who's the I? That's the so-called white man. The oppressor. If you could jump to verse 5. All right. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 5. Uh -huh. It says, the Lord, Yahweh, hath broken the staff of the wicked. Jump to, th uh, actually, uh, three, uh, jump to, uh, Two. Okay. Isaiah uh -huh. chapter 14 and verse 2. Come on. And the people shall take them uh -huh. and bring them to their place. Yep. And the house of Israel yep. shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Yep. For servants and handmaids. Yeah, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. Who did that? So called white man. So they can fit and they led who into captivity? So called Black Latinos and Native American and it's the Israelites, the house of Israel. So we the, the house of Israel in the end days. When oh, every day in, they would be getting ready to lead those that led them into captivity into captivity. You know, go ahead. And they shall, and come on. And and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Yeah, and they're gonna make them people that did that to them, right? Servants and handmaids, and they're gonna take them captives whose captives they were. Just said, come on. And and come on. They shall rule over their oppressors, and those will be the oppressors. The oppressors, you see, so the rich man, and that's the so called white man. See, so this whole chapter about so called white man when a rich man speak it, they every man holdeth his tongue and look what he say. Say it, so that's basically like saying when the so called white man speak, right? They extol it to the clouds, makes sense because he said he gonna go above the clouds, man. That's the level he gonna put himself on for perception, and that's how people perceive it. You see, what I'm saying simple, the simple, but look, but if the poor man speak. Right, 
what words would he be speaking? The words of the Heavenly Father. So that's the most high speaking, really. Because it just how I said it's not you that speak anyway, but the Heavenly Father in you that speak. You know, he said, take no thought of what you're gonna say in that hour is gonna be given, you know, in that same hour. Matter of fact. This is a uh, Matthew and uh, uh, ten Matthew ten and nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take see and who's you? So called white people, man. So called white men, you know. Which you're gonna see a lot of delivering up more and more with these times we in for mugs refusing. You know what I'm saying? His image. You know, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it is shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak for you believers. For it is not ye, therefore it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of the Father which speaks in you. You see? So it's facts. So it says, but if the poor man speak, right, he will be speaking the words of every father. They say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, say what? They will help to overthrow him, you know. So they never listen. Ultimately, they always pick people pick the so-called white man over the Most High, because the so-called white man trying to he put himself in people's eyes to actually be over the Most High, because people can't see the Most High, but they can see the so-called white man going above the, the clouds, as he said, the Lord revealed he would. So they like, oh, that's God, and he's always trying to been putting himself on, on that level, man. You know, all right. So we can uh, jump back to the uh, Ephesians 6 and uh, 11 real quick. It's Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. Put on the whole armor of God. You see, this is the only way you're going to be able to beat this, which is the point. You know, we was originally going to go ahead. It says that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the of the devil. Because I said you got so many jakes out here that's actually trying to beat this man and see that he is the devil. And they trying, but the only way you're gonna be able to beat him is by putting on the whole armor of the, of the heavenly father, man. You know, it's a by counsel make thy war, man. That's what the scriptures tell us, man. By for by wise, wise counsel, by this, the words we give you, man. You see what I'm saying? This is the only way you're gonna withstand this man. It ain't gonna be uploading fake thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got it. It's gonna. You gonna. Hey, you need more wits than that. Come on, God. It says, "Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." Yeah. See, of the who? Of the devil. There it is, man. That's the only way you're gonna withstand the wiles of the devil, man. Go ahead. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities, mm -hmm. against powers, mm -hmm. against the rulers See? of the darkness, darkness there it is, man. of this world. Yep, that's it. Against spiritual wickedness yep. in high places. Yep, that's it, man. All this is, is shit. The witchcraft is out. Witchcraft is enchantment on it. They throwing enchantments up. There's all type of shit taking place right now, man, to get Jacob out of here, man. You know? Why you think you watch Kyrie come on the courts? He saved the court. You know what I'm saying? He done seen some stuff, man. Yeah. You know? And you know, he a Gadite. He probably a Reubenite, though. No blow. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, so <clears throat> let's jump back to group. Matter of fact, uh, you can hold that. We got to finish Isaiah 59. That's what it was. Yeah, Isaiah 59 and 15. It's a lot. God, this Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 15. Uh -huh. It says, yeah, truth belleth. Yep. See? That's why, man. Because <laughs> the damn rich man ruling, that's the devil. You know, they of lies. Period. Which goes into the scripture the brother had posted. Uh. 7 and 13, Ecclesiastes. You know, look, seven, Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. You got it. It says, Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight which hath made, which he, which he hath made crooked? Oh, nobody, man. You know, period. And so called, damn, this man is just a devil. He's just a liar. Everything he does is a lie, man. You see? 
You got it. Con. Isaiah chapter 59 and 15. It says, yeah, truth fell it. Now, he'll say some, some the Lord will cause him to say some truth. And if he do say the truth, no, that was of the, heavenly, of, of, the, of the heavenly Father, man. You know? They tell you that in Psalms, the 64th chapter. Go ahead. It says, yeah, truth fell it. When they shall make their own tongues fall, the Lord going to shoot at them and make their own tongues to where they make their own tongues fall on themselves. You know? And, they, and, they, and look, they got a deceitful tongue. Deceitful going into what again? The devil, man. They tongue only going to be deceitful. The devil, come on. That's the language they speak because that's the tongue going into. Come on. Kind of says, Wickedness, come on. And yet, truth fell it, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. That's what you see happen to uh, Lazar Hayward, you know, and all these Jakes that's just trying to. You know, do but according to God, I mean, according to Zeal was right, righteous. You know, did you finish that? A little bit more. You got it. Kind. It says, and the Lord saw it. Yep. And it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Yep. There it is, man. Go ahead. Yeah, you could jump to uh. You could jump to Romans. Romans ten. Romans ten. Romans ten. Okay. 10 and uh, 3. You can start at 1. Okay, this Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel uh -huh. is that they might be saved. Yeah, come on. Be let, come on. For I bear them record uh -huh. that they have a zeal uh -huh. of God, uh -huh. but not according to knowledge. Yeah, so a lot of them are trying to stand up for what's right. You know, you are, you got a... Uh, 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 Andrew Wiggins, who, who he, he tried to become, we just pull an article up. We're going to pull it up. Okay. Uh, you know, he tried to become exempt, but he ultimately couldn't, you know? Because Esau said, hell no, you know? Ain't no, you ain't going to find, the, is the, is the, was the NBA founded upon truth? No. So you ain't going to find no truth in the NBA. It's going to, it was built off lies. It's going to run, continue off lies, period. I think they, uh, for the whole bubble, they had Black Lives Matter themed on the court, like they fuck, they for Jake or some shit. But the whole they ain't got no problem with pulling the, putting that because why? That's a lie. You see what I'm saying? It's no such thing as a black life, you know. And even if you want to apply that to Jake, they they lives don't matter. So that's another lie, you know. Damn black. This man not black. You share the screen? I believe so. Yeah, kind of we good. All right, kind. So this is a article that came out 10, 12 hours ago. Pretty much news broke that uh this dude basically had said that, you know, Steve Kerr tweeted that he got the he got he got jabbed. You know, they knocked his ass out. You know what I'm saying? Type down. You can just go. Kind of. So this is a. Uh, uh, this is a. Uh, yeah, kind. You got it. Golden State. We just read. Golden State. I got it. Is that Golden State Warriors swing, man? Andrew Wiggins said he felt forced to receive the, the thing, Maxine, man. You see? He felt forced. Now, this goes into the lesson. The only options were to get vaccinated or to or not play in the NBA. The number one overall, it's a quote from him. The number one overall pick said in 2014, said Monday, it was a tough decision. Hopefully, it works out in the long run. And in 10 years, I'm still healthy. He already knows what's gonna happen. So, so he got it. He got knowledge according to zeal. He got he got zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. And ultimately, he sold out, man. You folded. Right. You pick. Let's go back there. Uh, um, you could drop that Romans. Baruch four. Okay. Four and seven. Yep. This Baruch chapter four and verse seven. It says, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. See? By sacrificing to devils. He said what? He said the only options, Andrew Wiggins said the only options were to get vaccinated or not play in the NBA. 
And what you do, man, you know, you pick the damn NBA over something the Lord told you not to do, man. You know, you would drop that. Let's get a Baruch. Uh, and that's why you, you, you in slavery now. This is why you subject to having to answer to this man now because you was doing that. And you keep doing it. But guess what? The Lord said if he had not left a remnant, we'd have been at Sodom, man. So these dudes is done. These were the sellouts back then in past times, man, that turned on the Lord, you know, and picked the so-called white man. They stole the they, they spoke, they stole the so-called white man's words to the cloud, man. You see? We're gonna hang this clothes out. Give me uh, uh St. John 19. You know, and if you got the ones up, I have you still hold you can bring them out. Con Go ahead, 19 and uh <clears throat> You started uh, 14. Connor, St. John chapter 19 and verse 14. And it was the preparation of the Passover. Mm -hmm. And about the sixth hour, and he said unto the Jews, Behold. See, and who's the Jews? The so called blacks. All right. Go ahead. He you, said it. You got it. And he said and, it. And you might as well say you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians because it's the same bloodline. You know, that's just a title that's put on, you know, so-called blacks for it for their tribe you know for our tribe judah right let's put on the southern kingdom benjamin levi and judah so-called haitians jamaicans west indians and uh, uh so-called african americans you know what i'm saying or negro afro people scattered abroad because you got judites in europe ireland dublin you know what i'm saying which is in ireland etc but they and the high concentration is the af it's there in america so judah is you will see on the chart you know, uh, as being just simply the African American, aka the Negro. You know, you got it. what you got some. So I'm gonna bring this back in. Oh yeah, kind. Well, no, you got it. Yeah, yep, kind. Saint John chapter 19 and verse 14, Come and on. it was the preparation of the Passover uh -huh. and about the sixth hour, and he said that to the Jews, "Behold, your king." Yeah. So this would be Andrew Wiggins, right? So called Negro, but he from Canada. So see. So that's why it's about the spirit to have me speak on it like that. You got it. Verse 15 says, but they cried out, away with him. Away with who? Away with him. This is now, this is our Lord. I'm telling them get get away, get basically get uh do away with ourselves because we are to be made, we we are to ultimately be his image, man. You know what I'm saying? Period. Yeah, so-called, you know, Yahweh Shah, he's 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 actually uh Adam, man, if you can receive it. He was actually Adam. And then they say that the Lord made it Adam uh, Lord over all his creatures. You know? Now it's the chosen Adam. So all the other chosen people of uh, 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 will have to be just like that Adam. You see? You got it. All right. See. And it was the prep. I'm going to read from 14. And it was the preparation. Go to. Um... You got it. St. John chapter um, 19 and verse 14. And it was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour. And he said unto the Jews, behold your king. But they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, shall I crucify your king? You know, the situation is going on right now. This is when Yahweh Shai, you know, ultimately after he was delivered up. All right. He was delivered up into the hands of the Romans. And Pilate, you know, was the the, the, the head of the government, you know, in their current like land right now. So ultimately it was the Jews, his own people, you Israelites, the same people today, you know, that are selling out. We, these are the same people that were saying, um, you know, away with him. You know, and again, as the brother was just saying, like, ultimately, that's saying away with yourselves because we are to be the image of Yahweh Shai, you know. But this is what the Romans were saying about Yahweh Shai to the actual Israelites, the Jews that were left, so called, um, you know, the southern kingdom, if you will. But, and it was the preparation of the Passover in about the sixth hour, and he said that to the Jews, Behold, your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him. Mm -hmm. Crucify him, mm -hmm. Pilate. Yeah, and, and, and who ultimately is that? That's you. You know what I'm saying? 
See, these niggas don't understand. The Lord, he represents us. He you. So if you're doing away with the Lord, right, a so-called black man as the, you know, the truth. When it's like when they do away the image of uh, when we try to tell them, nah, he his name is how shy, he's so-called black man. He only for you. They be like, nah, we want Christianity. We don't, you know what I'm saying? You basically throwing away with you. You throwing away with yourself. That stands for you. So if you pick something else, it's like when you do away with the Lord, you doing away with yourself. You see, that's why he said, do not they provoke themselves uh, uh, to the confusion of their own faces okay. by turning on me. You turn on the Lord, you turn on yourself, man. You know, and that's what you see. Jake did not a self uh, 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 and, and, and when it comes to their truth. You see what I'm saying? Not on some spiritual, I'm um, trying to deny the flesh type, but nah, they, nah, I'm, all these dudes getting jabbed up, man. It's, go ahead, brother, slot, man. It's verse 13, it says, but they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said that to them, shall I crucify your king? Mm, see, your king? Your king, man. This man of your own bloodline, if you crucify your own him, you it's like you crucifying yourself. You crucifying the one that's gonna make sure you good, your king. Exactly. Are you crazy? You know, go ahead. That's your heritage. That go your 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 protection. Everything, man. You know what you what's in your your best interest. So when you did you that's that's all they and that's literally what you're saying, Jake. Do 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 right now, man. Go ahead. It says the chief priest answered, "We have no king but Caesar." Mm. See that? There it is, man. Go ahead. Verse sixteen. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified, and they took Yahushai and led him away. And that was it, man. That was it, man. That was it. And that's what you're seeing happen now, man. These niggas pick Caesar, the so-called white man. You know, because really, and you see that in the form of these niggas picking Christianity. When we tell them the Bible only for them, they be like, "Nah, we won't. We want Esau involved too." Everybody. So you basically denying yourself. His color don't matter. Oh, so you literally denying yourself, your best interest. Me having me seeing, okay, he only for me. You know what I'm saying? My people. He look like me. My people. That's my best interest. Why would I deny that? Because I'm denying myself and I'm picking somebody else over that. And that's all you're seeing these mugs do to this day, man. You know? We can go to Joe, I mean, uh, Joshua, Slocky. You know? And, and, and y'all doing it like this nigga is, 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 is the most high. Like he, it's so many scriptures that go into it say he's going to be the, uh, uh, He's, he's gonna, he's gonna, he, he's gonna. You bring that dude around me out. You know, like he's just gonna keep ruling forever. You know, that's how Jake tried to go on, go into it. But ultimately, they, they, with as, as far as uh, why they succumb to his ways, nah. Like how the scripture say, envy not the, uh, the ways of the oppressor, to choose none of his ways. You know, I'm thinking you equal with this man. Just speaking on that by the spirit, you know, this morning is up and up and out, man. You know, but they think, you know, uh, uh, they try to act like that's their reasoning because he he's 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 ruling, man. Ain't nothing we can do. You know, this is crazy, man. But it's it, hey. The Lord requires that which is past. So these same niggas that turned on the Lord then he was quite uh, and picked Caesar. You know what I'm saying? Basically, Caesar Ray Borgia. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Them also called white men. He gonna have to require them to do that same thing now. And that's what you seeing happening. This man said he it was either the NBA or his best interest. And now, since he picked the NBA, he can only hope that he's still healthy in 10 years. So you basically put out that you know it's full of shit. Mm -hmm. 
and ultimately you move because you obviously know some truth you moved off galatians 5 but how are we not supposed to get that witchcraft man you moved off this word you put this word to the side your house shot right you pick jesus you pick Caesar, you pick Caesar, right? you pick Maxine over the word that says, don't get this and you'll get the kingdom. You put your, your best interest to, for this nigga because he's just ruling something. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. You got it. All right, this one, Light of Israel, is <clears throat> Acts 7 and 51. It says, he stiff necked. And uncircumcised in heart and ears, mm -hmm. ye do always resist the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did. So, do ye? Yep. <laughs> and that's what you saying these mothers do, man. A lot of these dates is 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 they just forced to pay up with what they did uh, 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 back then, man. They turned to the Lord, literally. And now the Lord is making them; He's requiring that which is past. So all of these mugs is 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 literally just replaying, replaying all of that, man. They have to, because that's how the Lord operates. This is a uh, Ecclesiastes four, and um, shit, shit, this is the spirit. I didn't want to get this one first, but I'll read this. It says, uh, "There is no." It says, "There is no end of all the people." even of all that have been before them you see they also that come after shall not rejoice in him surely this also is a uh vanity and vexation of spirit they subjected to doing what they always done exactly you know this is uh ecclesiastes 3 And uh, 15, that which has been is now. And that which is to be had already been. And God, the most high, Yahweh, require it that which is past. I need you to come back and do that again so I can finally get you now. You see what I'm saying? You know, I need you to come back and live out a life in this lifetime for me to give you the judgment for you doing that back then you see what i'm saying so it makes sense real time in our eyesight when the nigga gets shot because he was gang banging but he really didn't get killed for doing that this lifetime he got killed for what he was doing in his past life but he would just live out a life to where he could get get that judgment you see what i'm saying more like okay since you did this i'm gonna get you hitting your head you see what i'm saying by this you know, because you this tough type of spirit. This is what this would get you. Exactly. So I'm gonna have you come back and live out a life to where that can happen. But people will see it and be like, oh, he was living a life of crime. And that's why that happened. But on a real scale, it's what he did in the past. That's what the Lord required. To where he could get that judgment. So it's the same thing with these people now. They niggas turned on the Lord. All our people turned on the Lord, mothers and brothers and sisters and aunties and your, your grand your uncle probably turned on the Lord. Delivered the Lord up, Andrew Wiggins. You see what I'm saying? Well, he got it. He they all got a specific judgment for that. It might be eating a nuke, it might be dying by a pestilence, it might be getting ate by a dog, it might be falling out of a helicopter, you know what I'm saying? Traveling to be in the lead, you know. Uh <clears throat> and, and 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 ultimately they are uh to for what they did on turn turn on the Lord. And they will have they will have to live out a life to where he can give that judgment to them. So they will come back still. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Turning on themselves and worshiping the so-called white man it end up being the same thing that bites you. Mm -hmm. See that? You take the Maxine and your judgment was to be poisoned yeah. for turning on the Lord. So now you come back. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. You know, that's all that's happening, man. You know, I got some. Go ahead, brother. It's um Second Peter chapter three. I think you. No, that's not. That's a different. You got it. In verse three, it says, "Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, 
walking after their own lust mm -hmm. and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Mm -hmm. It says, for since the fathers fell asleep, mm -hmm. all things continue as they were from the beginning. And of that's heavy because that means all things. Exactly. Yo, but they, they are, but things is further now. Mm -hmm. You see? So niggas is just still being niggas, still scoffing, still turning on the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know? Because the Lord ain't went nowhere. He's just in a different form right now. Exactly. He's still who he is in the heavens, right? But he's in the in the form of his word right now, too, in these scriptures. Y'all getting ready to meet the man we read about, man. You know? You think man's about. Go ahead. Man, it says all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Mm -hmm. It says, for this, they willingly are ignorant. See? That's it. Go ahead. It says that by the word of God, the heavens were of old. Yeah, they don't want to understand that. You know, they want to actually, like, see, going back to what we started off in, okay. uh, um, Sirach Sir 18 yeah. and 27. The Sirach chapter 18 and verse 27. Mm -hmm. It says, a wise man will fear in everything. Mm -hmm. And in the day of sinning, mm -hmm. he will be aware of all offense. Mm -hmm. But a fool will not observe time. Mm. See? And the time is what? We clearly in times where this man about to come back and this so-called white man is about to come out of power, man. So why keep folding this man? Because you just living out the life that you, you know what I'm saying? You always did. Turn on the Lord. Forsake the Lord. Sacrifice unto devils. You gave your body, man, as a sacrifice to this nigga instead of the Lord, man. The scriptures say we have to rather obey God than men. You see? But you don't, if you're a fool, so you're not regarding the times. So you will be talking like uh, uh, the scriptures say you will be talking in these times, which is what the brother just read in, what was that, First Peter? Second Peter. Second Peter 3, yeah. you know? So, uh, uh, um, because if you wasn't a fool, you will see what? We're in the times where this man, he talking all this crazy talking. This is, this is a time where the Lord bring you down now. Exactly. You see? If you can get that in Deuteronomy, who was holding that? Yep. yep. This Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 16. 35. Kind of, kind of, so like it. Mm -hmm. Verse 35, it says, To me belong vengeance mm -hmm. and recompense. Mm -hmm. Their foot shall slide in due time. See? What's the due time? When you, you this man, the MOTB here, man. Like, we ain't no telling how close. You know, everything can play out two years. You never know. But we hear here, like we know, like this is the end of the world, like this is the end, end, end. This is over with. They showing you we still in slavery, man. But remember, we was only brought into slavery, we weren't sold into slavery for our destruction, but because we provoked the Lord unto God. I mean, like we provoked the Lord unto wrath, man, by sacrificing unto devils and not unto God, unto Him. You willing to bend your ear to the so-called white man? Give your body to you know his cause. You know, niggas fight wars, they ain't got no you know what I'm saying? Exactly. All this stuff, man. I said that's, that's a lot here. Just the thought came quick. He saying was well, fighting wars. Um it's like a um test of the time, like with um Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. Like he sat down from um being included in the so-called white man's yeah, like games. That's the spirit, you know, because he understood, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't gonna say he completely understood, but mm -hmm. he took his stance, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He took his side ultimately. And he didn't sacrifice. Yeah, he didn't sacrifice to these, um, to these devils, right? Because you're supposed to make your body a living sacrifice unto the Lord. But Jake making their body a living sacrifice unto the damn devil. Caesar Ray, man. Caesar. See? Caesar, Caesar is Caesar Ray. You know? Nigga rather pick that plantation Christianity doctrine uh, and, and not the Lord, you know, they'll pick that because they not they don't pick the Lord, man. They never have. Of course, you 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 be you, you talking to saints, more like you just fell out of heaven, you know what I'm saying? She nah, baby, I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Because she she her old ass from that lot, man. You know what I'm saying? She ain't never picked the Lord. She ain't got no problem with Caesar Ray, Caesar being Caesar Ray being on her wall, because she picked Caesar, her king Caesar. And you seeing all of these Jakes, the majority of our people literally pick Caesar again. They pick it Esau, man. Nigga said, man, I don't think we should be hooping right now during the George Floyd thing. 
but he saw like nah, I need players. Exactly. Nigga made they sack their body and sacrifice unto them. Well, I'm gonna do it for the cause. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Nigga, what about the Lord's cause, man? Didn't it say presses in the in the side of the Lord is his death for his saints? But Jake said, fuck that. You know? So that's all that's taking place. I got some. This is second Thessalonians 2. And uh to bring out what the brother was saying. This is uh, a <clears throat> I'm gonna start at three. It says, let no man deceive you <laughs> by any means, <laughs> for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. John Warren's the promise of this coming. It says, which we fail, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And for you going to perdition is destruction, it's wickedness, it's chaos. That's Esau, man. You see what I'm saying? Perdition. If a brother could post that meaning of perdition, you know, just an easy Google, you know. But anyway, it says, uh, the brother, uh, the war. It says, uh, if you don't hear, but let me see. Uh, who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called God. So Yahweh Shah won't come back until we fail and that man that's about destruction is revealed. That's clear. Once we get that word perdition, we'll see who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called God, the oppressor. Isaiah the 14th chapter. I'm going to exalt my exactly. throne above the stars of God. I'm going to send it to heaven and go above the clouds. You see, it say what? It says uh, above all that is called God or that is worshipped. So that he is God, sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God to the degree he will paint himself. If you can get that in Maccabees 3 and 40, uh, 48. Um, you know, and that's how this man moving. You know, but anyway, it says, remember ye not that when I told when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And what, and now you know what you got it. You got it. Go ahead. This is on First Maccabees chapter three and verse forty-eight, uh -huh. and lay open the book of the law, mm -hmm. wherein the heathen mm -hmm. have sought to paint the likeness of their images. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind. Then you go further into this, because yeah, it do mean that he damned really is destruction. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 that's he's the son of perdition. He's made to be destroyed, but ultimately he he destroyed man. They say a state of eternal punishment, right? Destroyed and damned into which. A sinful and unpenient person passes after death. You know, he's the man of destruction. You know, and you, but you will ultimately have to see why he's why why a person will receive that. You see what I'm saying? In their actions, it makes sense. You see, no a perdition. You know, but anyway, and you will see it. if Esau is the son of perdition, he's made to be damned and destroyed ultimately. We have to see reasons. The Lord, he, he don't do iniquity. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So this man is is, is he's up perdition. Look, you reap what you sow. Exactly. You see that? He give every man according to his works. Exactly. So perdition means to be ultimately just destroyed to the highest degree. That nigga, he's about destroying to the highest degree. Look, man, look. So the Lord on his way back, man. That's why Candyman just came up. You know? And it say, and you know what's heavy? The scriptures say, woe on that I put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, man. You see that? God was shy on his way back, man. Right now. So you consider yourself blessed if you, 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 you right, you finna be saved, man. You see what I'm saying? Get your stuff together. Get right. You know? Because these Jakes, they don't have they don't even have a shot because they only can do what they you know. You you actually not doing that is showing you actually might be other ones that didn't turn on the Lord and you, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be saved, man. How beautiful, how comforting. Yeah. See? It says, and now ye know what withhold it that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity do already work, man. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, the mysteries of the Gentiles, the mystery of iniquity, man. You know, who is this damn devil? Who is this damn serpent? 
pulls this damn dragon. You know, that's the mystery of iniquity. It says only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Right. You see, the most high is all this wickedness going on. Can't nobody figure out why. It's like niggas can't even figure out why this is happening in the NBA and off the world. Like, why is this mandate shit happening? They don't know that the Lord set this man up to prove he the devil. So when uh, uh, they'll have a, you have a clear understanding of what God is did. You see what I'm saying? It may only make sense. So it's a mystery of iniquity, man. For all this death on earth, for all this, exactly. so you can understand what the kingdom is, man. You know? But this world, I, I got a lesson put together for that. It pretty much titled uh, This World. Uh, I mean, I'm going to read it real quick. Let me close out. We're going to get one more scripture. Let me get, let me get the title. Reality is consistently proven to be too much for this world. You see what I'm saying? That's, you know, the wow. spirit had, you got something? No, I was going to say about the spirit had me just thinking how, <clears throat> how long these simple ones, you know, mm -hmm. when you love simplicity. It's clear, you know what I'm saying? How long are you going to sit here and be guessing? Who the they can't. This yeah. world can't deal with exactly. reality, exactly. man. You look, look. Those were, but, it's, it's a nut, but it's a lesson, so I ain't going to speak on it. But, you know, it's consistently proven. It just can't deal with reality, bro. You know, could happen to the polite. Exactly. Post him having to deal with the reality of, you know, a woman come of an age, all that, you know, look how it was reacted to. Mm -hmm. Then now he get the same thing put on him and look how it's reacted to. What? You know, and now he's stuck in the stead of seeing that, like, this world ain't really for reality. Like, exactly. she, she's a woman, you know, if he did it. But anyway. <laughs> It said, and then it shall that wicked man, so like, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the stuff of his mouth, and shall be destroyed with the brightness of his coming, even him. And that's all they show you in the candy man, dream, man. You see what I'm saying? It says, what? It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with, you see, whose coming is after the working okay. of Satan, yeah. with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them, you see, that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. You see, for and for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. You see, delusion that they should believe a lie, Woo! that they all might be damned to believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Man, see that. And that's big with these candies is do, you know. So we close out on that. Joshua 24. Okay. Yep. 24 and uh 15. This is Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. Mm -hmm. It says, and if it seems matter of fact, start at 13. Yep, verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, and I gave it, and I have given you a land for which ye did not labor. That's why we ain't got no goddamn land. Cause you Jakes was spoiled. We spoiled. Just, just around wax fat and kick, man. We even we we got a home country. You got land. You don't have to pay for it. We not supposed to be paying for water for no damn property. You got property that's yours already. You entitled you you as an Israelite is entitled to to you know uh p uh, the the country of Israel, man. You know how much land there. You own acres, man. This is what they've been keeping from us. That's our land. But that's why we ain't there, because you know, you know, you, you sacrifice unto devils, man. You know, without the Lord, he's finna separate that number. That's why he had to separate the nation. Two thirds and one third. I can't, we can't do this shit no more. You know, if he didn't do that, because look, that's why we all fucking suffering still. Because of these niggas, man. And we and all went, Jake went off, but we don't want to go off no more. That's the difference. Go ahead, bro. This is Joshua chapter 24 and 13. They they do because they continuously, even though they say, I don't want to get it, I was forced, but you still got it, nigga. Exactly. I'm not getting that shit. I'm not getting no motherfucking Maxine, man. I'm not getting no motherfucking Maxine. I don't give a fuck what happened. I ain't getting shit. I ain't getting no chip. I ain't getting none of that shit. I ain't getting none of it. All right? You get none of that shit. You can miss me with that. All right? I'll lose every guy. I got you. We real stiff neck. Go ahead. Joshua chapter 24 and 13. Go ahead. 
and I have given you a land for which ye did not labor. More willing to keep our integrity, get more. Come on. And cities which ye built not. That's right. And ye dwell in them. Mm -hmm. Of the vineyards. Come on, the NBA already. Go ahead. Bro. Of the vineyards and olive yards mm -hmm. which ye planted not, do you eat? Woo! Come on. Verse 14 it says, Now therefore fear the Lord, Jehovah, mm -hmm. and serve him in sincerity and in truth. Mm. Come on. And put away the gods which your father served mm. on the other side of the flood. The hell with Esau, man. And his, you know what I'm saying? The hell with Buddha, Muhammad, all that shit, man. Go ahead. Because it's all of the devil. Come on. And in Egypt. Uh huh. See, America. Yeah. Come on. And serve ye the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, this spiritual now. Come on. This applies now. Come on. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, Yahweh, whoo, I'm going to lose my job, man. Why would God want me to, you know? You got caps telling them all that fake ass, a lot of fake prophets coming out, man. Who's, who's going to do a lesson on that tonight by the spirit? You know, false prophets. It's a lot of false prophets, man. You know, B-O-W are false prophets. The dude with Tazion, Sharion, you was a false prophet, bro. You do not know the scriptures. You do not understand the scriptures, bro. Period. You know, what you could be considered, you know, I don't, you're not a prophet, though, bro. You know, it's not, it ain't been given to you. The, the, the mysteries ain't been given to you, bro. You know, go ahead, bro. All right. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. And Sakar, y'all finished. All right. One body, y'all finished. IGPK, they finished. IUIC, they finished. Only camp that's right, the only church that's right is GMS, man. And brothers that's under that same doctor, because there's only one doctor, man. Besides that, niggas is finished, man. A, a WF5, y'all still teaching the mark of the beast is not the, the chip. Y'all finished. Period. You know, y'all can do a, a, a lesson for eight. You can do a lesson for 48 hours. It don't matter. They did a lesson for, they, they, they taught the whole Sabbath for 20 hours, four hours straight. But they don't understand the chip, the mark of the beast. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. But anyway, go ahead, brother. Man, Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, Yahweh, choose you this day whom you will serve. Mm. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood mm -hmm. or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. Taking all type of shit, but the Lord, come on. But as for me and my house, mm -hmm. we will serve the Lord, Yahweh. That's it, man. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Yep. So there it is, man. So it, 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 it's that simple, man. So with that, you got anything? I said I close out, give our honor, praise, and glory to Heavenly Father in the name of the Son. Yahweh, Bashum, Yahweh Shah, Wahak, and Hey, everybody ain't know that. They ain't know that. They, you're just going to see more and more take it. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to just number your favorite celebrities as you see them. Check them off. These niggas finished. All right? They'll be back. So long. Uh,